Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. I'm assuming you guys were quite young when The Last Charlie's Angels came out. Do you guys have like any recollection of it, or did you have like a dream or goal to be a part of Charlie's Angels? Oh, yeah. We all watch the movies, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll ever forget um, Drew Barrymore like tumbling down that hill, <laughs> and then the way the boys react to her, like, standing up <laughs> naked and then her cut to her and like I can't remember if it's like a slip knot or like a weird like like r world wrestling t-shirt mm -hmm. but I'm like you're so cool <laughs> yeah. 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 that was me watching you guys yesterday oh, so <laughs> anyway, how important is it for you guys to be part of a movie that really highlights like women empowerment and also women supporting women especially in a time like now mm. We need each other, yeah. and that it's like such a good feeling when you find your your clan, and then you realize that it's actually like not hard to find, and that we're everywhere. Mm. Um, that's what the movie does. That's sort of modernizes. It. This is the the take that we yeah. Yeah. sort of have in this that the other ones didn't. There were three spectacular women that were so special that they mm. were this sort of elite group. In this case, we take the elitist nature out of it and make right. it sort of like we all we we all have something to offer. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I got out of the movie wanting to call my friends, like, you know, we have this, we got this, we need each other. Exactly. Like, yes. <laughs> I wanted to achieve. Yeah. So. <laughs> so it worked. Yeah. I wanted to ask you as well, I'm sure you got some, like, physical training for mm. this because the fighting scenes were very impressive. Do you think there's, like, a correlation between physical strength and being a powerful um, woman? Can be, but not necessarily. Yeah. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I think yeah. my, Elena pretty much sums is that up, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, she kind of represents that in a way. Um, and she uses her brain, which is another way that you can kind of, you know, get things done. Yeah. Um, not to say that at the end of the movie, she then goes through a rigorous training regime. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's, uh, I, I like that. I like that also I get to kind of represent, like Kristen was talking about anyone being a, an angel. I think Elena does kind of represent that idea that you, anyone yeah. could be, you know, and she represents the audience a little bit and you see the movie through her eyes, which is really fun as well. And a lot of screaming. <laughs> you know, she's never seen a gun before, so that was that was really fun to play with that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you are a living proof of a powerful woman, <laughs> and in this movie, you directed, you acted, and you wrote the script. Yes. So how important is it for you to send out the message that women can do anything, especially to the younger generation? I, I, look, I really hope that I do inspire other filmmakers. Um, I hope that I inspire my peers. I hope I inspire women, uh, all generations, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I hope I, more importantly, inspire the executives at the studios to hire more women to trust us with this kind of material and with action and humor and all of those things. Um, that that's you know that definitely was one of my goals and it's it's one of the pressures that I feel in making the movie. I'm sure after the success of this movie, it definitely will be. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I hope it's successful. <laughs> and I watched it and I absolutely loved it and went out feeling like empowered and I wanted to call my friends. I think Yay. what I loved was that it wasn't just about women empowerment, also about women working together. That's it. Which yeah. was uh, really nice to see. Yeah, I wanted to build on the themes of sort of camaraderie and sisterhood and sorority that yeah. I felt worked so well in the Pitch Perfect movies and. Um, and bring that into an action movie. And, you know, the, the DNA of Charlie's Angels, this already existed, which was so fun. I didn't have to, like, make it up out of whole cloth. There was already a, a, real, a real sense of history that I could pull from, too, which I also love. I love the feeling in the movie that we are standing on the shoulders of the women that came before us. You know, I like to say it was not my idea to turn Charlie's Angels into a movie. It was Drew Barrymore's <laughs> idea. And I, I'm just, like, building on what she That was going to be actually another question. Like, why did you think of creating a reboot for the movie instead of just creating, like, a whole new movie? Um, I felt it was really important for the fans to honor the things that came before. And I, I also felt like... We, I could play with people's expectations if I made sure to lay in what Charlie's Angels has always been. Because this is a moment of transition for Charlie's Angels as it's a moment for women around the world. Yeah. Um, you know, I like to say that Charlie's Angels is, is under construction. That is why their headquarters is in a construction site, <laughs> right? And it's hiding in plain sight. But they are, they are, um, they're in the midst of a turmoil, of a change. I mean, I'm from the generation of Charlie's Angels when it was really the you know, what the first kind of movie that really showed women, you know, powerful, strong women together. So yeah. it's something that really stuck with me. So seeing this 
again it was uh, really nice yeah and how uh, why did you choose uh, Kristen Ella and Naomi to be like the perfect angels for well Kristen Kristen I wouldn't have made the movie without she is just the epitome of modern women she lives authentically you can't put her in a box she's one of the greatest actresses of any generation she has already proven that she can do action movies, so I knew she had the discipline to do it. She, I also knew that she would surprise people with how funny she was yeah. going to be in the film. <laughs> and then, you know, Ella, it was like, I mean, she was like, you know, finding Sasquatch on a mountain, like, <laughs> uh, just a diamond in the rough that I feel like is Beautiful a total discovery <laughs> for the audience, you know, and for people. And then Naomi, I thought about that character as the as Meg Ryan in a rom-com right. because I really felt like that character is actually living in a romantic comedy she's falling in yeah. love with the angels and falling in love with <laughs> her like new life and it's kind of like silly and you know delightful and charming and so um, that's Naomi yeah.